So a question I get a lot in, in the store is, do I need to take amino acids? And you know, my typical response is, well, do you use protein or do you eat it consistently throughout the day? And the reality is, is that protein is composed of amino acids. So amino acids are just the building block of protein. So if you're eating you know, protein every three, three and a half hours, different types, getting different uh, varieties of, of amino acids, because all proteins have a slightly different amino acid profile, um, you're probably getting enough of like the general amino acids. Now that being said, there are some very specific amino acids that are beneficial to supplement. Um, one of them is glutamic acid, and glutamic acid is, is glutamine, it is the primary uh, amino acid in the skeletal muscle, uh, it helps with growth hormone production, digestive health, uh, muscle repair and recovery, it does like 500 things in the body, that's something I suggest to everyone. Um, another common form of amino acid that, that a lot of people take or ask about is branch chain amino acids. And these are branch, they're called branch chain amino acids because of their molecular structure. They look like branch chains. Um, there are three specific amino acids. They're leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And recent research, and I say recent, we're now four, five, six, seven years ago, uh, but research has indicated that a uh, high dose of, of branch chain amino acids, upwards of like 10, 20 grams post-workout, cuts recovery time by 50%. So dramatic increase in recovery. Um, they're also really good if you're get, getting up in the morning and doing empty stomach cardio. Remember that while you sleep, you're not eating. So you know, you, you, a lot of times you go into that catabolic state where you're burning muscle. So doing the branch chain amino acids before uh, you know, your, your cardio in the morning will keep the, your body out of that catabolic state or get it out of the catabolic state if you're there and keep you out of it during the, your, your cardio session so you're burning fat. Um, there are a lot of other types of amino acids. Uh, L-carnitine is, is an important amino acid for fat loss. It helps with, uh, it actually shuttles the free form fatty acid out of the bloodstream into the mitochondria to be utilized as an energy source. Um, a lot of people take beta alanine, which is a precursor to the amino acid carnosine, which is the most effective buffer of lactic acid in skeletal muscle. So it delays fatigue, increases endurance, strength, power output, etc. So the, I guess the bottom line, when you're considering amino acids, you know, at, at least a broad spectrum of amino acid, it really depends on how you're eating and how much protein you're ingesting. Um, but there are certainly very specific amino acids that people should take depending on their goals. So that's where you really want to come in and talk to someone and let them educate you and help you figure out what you're trying to do and make su suggestions to fit your specific circumstances and goals. So amino acids are good. Some you need, some you don't. It really depends on the person.